it was one of those days. So when I realized I had this filmed, the finished project, and not the process, I decided I would reverse engineer it and share it with you anyway. So hopefully this makes sense. It was lovely, simple, and I was really satisfied with it. All right, let's try that again. <clears throat> In that last little video clip, you saw the details of these finished pieces. Um, clearly, I had a camera battery error. So let me show you what I did um, just on a simple mock-up of one more of these. And then I'll show you those details again. So we had the watercolor background. So I just did this swatch on a scrap piece of paper. And the colors that you see, the solid colors, are paint swatches. And I just picked things that I liked how they went with the colors of the watercolor. That was kind of my favorite. Um, pardon the puppy noises in the background. I don't love this drip mark that I got on the bottom of that one. So I would love to have this come across. I'm gonna trim this one kind of like right there. The other element that I used was encyclopedia paper. So for this one, so on this sample piece, I think that it's, I'm going to have it go uh, vertically. Um, then it'll cover up this drip mark here. For most of the pieces that I had done, um, the paper and the paint chip went in the same direction. The last element, um, I have a different, I have a set of rubber stamps of different leaves. And I have this charcoal gray archival stamp pad. So I just wanted these to be high contrast so they would read. And I've stamped them on plain white tissue paper. So when these are assembled and glued down, the tissue paper is basically gonna be invisible. So a little bit, a little gel medium, and this will be done. Tissue paper is extremely fragile with the gel medium. So definitely the most delicate of touches. The paint chips are kind of like cardstock. So they might need a little extra glue or a little extra pressure. Now let's revisit these and you'll see the watercolor background, the paint chip element, some text, and this nearly invisible tissue paper. You can see the text reading through. But I just liked these as different vignettes, different materials. I love a text element and I love the transparency of the tissue. I thought maybe I would put a word on each, some of the words that I associate with leaves, growth, 
renewal, spring, fertility, but I actually think I like them just the way they are. So, as always, stay tuned for more Weekly Sparks every week. If you like this, then go ahead and do all the YouTube things and click, like, subscribe, and I will see you next week for another episode of Weekly Spark.